this video, I'm going to be going over an example of a function that's going to remove all instances of a given character from a string. So I'll make our function declaration first, and I'm going to say here void remove car, and I'll say car star string and car r for the character we're going to remove. So the function has no return type because besides void, because the function is going to return anything. We're going to be altering this string here. And so we don't need to actually return any particular value, say. And we're going to have this care r here because that's going to be the character we're going to remove from the string. So we'll make our function definition down here now. And normally when I work with strings, I like to include the string.h library because it includes all kinds of functions that are helpful, like the strlen function that gives you the string length. But in this case, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be altering the length of the string as we work with it. And so that function isn't going to be quite as helpful. So I'm actually going to leave it out. I'm actually not going to use that library this time. So let's actually go over how we're going to have to make this, this function work. So we've got a string here and we could say like, we've got a string here. And let's say that I want to remove the, we'll say O characters from the string. There's only one in there, but let's say we want to remove the O characters from the string. The way my algorithm is going to work is we're going to examine each position in the string one at a time. So examine each position in the string one at a time. Now, when we encounter an O character at that point, what we're going to do is we're going to shift everything in the string, including the null term terminator over to the left by one. So everything is going to get shifted over by one. We're going to shift all the characters over by one. And that'll have the effect of then removing the O from the string. So that's going to be our algorithm there. So let's just implement that algorithm now. So I'm going to have to keep track of a current position in the string. So I'll say here int pause for position is equal to zero. And then I'm going to have a while loop that's going to work until we encounter the null terminator. Once we encounter the null terminator, then we're done. So we're going to say here while string at position doesn't equal the null terminator, keep working on the string. And then what we're looking for is if at our current position, we've found the, the character we're looking for, then we have to do the shift. So we're going to say here, like if at the position we're currently looking at in the string, we find R here, we have to do the shift to the, to the left here. And so here is where we're going to have to have an algorithm that's going to basically start from our current position, wherever it is, and move everything over to the left by one. So we'll say here that, and we'll have to make another little variable here. So I have to say like int, and we'll say like new pause is equal to position here. And then we're going to make a, a loop here. We're going to say while, and we'll say string at new position doesn't equal the null terminator. We'll do this. And then we'll say that string at new position is equal to string at new position plus one. And that's going to then shift things over to the left, right? Because we're setting things at this position here to the position uh, one to the right. And we're going to keep on doing this. So we're going to keep on incrementing the new position. So that way we keep on shifting over to the right because we got, you know, we're going to shift T over to where the O is and then we're going to shift the space to where the T is and then the A to where the space is and on and on until we encounter the null terminator. At that point, uh, then we're done. At that point, once we've encountered the, the null terminator, um, then we're good. Now, uh, the next thing we'll do here is we're going to say here, if, if we encounter the character that we want to remove, then because we've done this shift to the left here, what's possible is that the next character is also an O. It could be that the next character is also an O, the thing we want to remove, whatever it is, right? So, because it could have looked like this, it could have been like this, and we encounter an O, we remove the O by shifting everything over to the left, but the next character is still an O. So we're actually only going to increment the position we're checking if we don't have that we found the character we're going to remove there. Because if we found the character that we that we want to remove at that position, we've now shifted everything over to the left. The character of that position is now different. And it could be that it again is the character we want to remove. And so we're only going to increment the position if we've actually not removed anything. Like if we didn't find anything we had to remove. Because if we did remove something, we have to do another check there. So let's give this a shot now to test it out. Let's uh, go up here and we'll make some test data. We'll say here car 
S1 is equal to a string with some words. And then we'll call the function to try to remove a character from the string. So we'll say remove car and we'll say S1. And then we're going to say here, we'll say let's remove the character I. And we can do some printf. So, so we'll say like S1 before, we'll say percent %s slash n, print out S1. And we should print this out before we call the function. And then we'll call it after as well. So we'll call it after too just to see the effect that it has. And this should take out the character I from the string. So we should take out this one here and this one here. So we'll give this a try here. We run it and we get a string with some words and a string with some words. And we can tell that actually the I character has been removed where it has where, it, where we expect it right here in that string there and in this word there. So we can give it one more test. We'll do We'll do copy paste here and we'll just give it some different data here. So we'll say like S2 and maybe we'll give it one that's like a little tricky here. So we'll say like A, 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 X, X, A, 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 B, 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 C, C, A, 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 there. Okay. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to remove the lowercase character A and we'll say like S2 before and we'll say S2 here and then we'll do S2 removal here we'll do so, so remove car s2 remove the character a then we're going to say s2 after and we'll print out s2 and i just want to see how it handles this where it's like we've got a lot of a's in there we've got a's at the beginning we've got a's at the end we have uppercase a's and we have other characters in there as well we've got a's in the middle so this is just considered a more challenging case let's say it should all work fine but you know it's a bit more, it's a bit more of a challenging case here so let's just try this one so and it looks like it worked because Look at this, we've got like the A's at the start are gone, the A's in the middle are gone, the A at the end is gone, these A's in between, the C and the A are gone, and our function looks to be working correctly. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.